everyone, my name is Helen. Welcome to the Shrimpy McGee channel. If you followed me for a while, you'll notice these are not my usual surroundings. I am actually on vacation in Miami, but I didn't forget about you guys, so I decided to sit down and make this video. Thanks so much for following me here, and if you enjoyed this, be sure to give me a like, and remember to subscribe. I always talk about hair loss stuff, in particular about Rogaine, uh, but today what we're gonna talk about is some of the natural treatments out there and whether I've tried them and what I think about them. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because sometimes, um, as you guys who have long followed my channel know, I answer people's questions. They you know, message me here in the YouTube comments. You're welcome to do that as well. They also DM me on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram. Also down in the description box is a link. And if you DM me, I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. For now, that won't last forever because my audience is starting to grow and I'm starting to get lots and lots of questions and it's sort of hard for me to get to them all, but I am trying my best. But they will not last, it will not last forever, but for now, the going's still good, so drop me a line. Uh, but yeah, I get questions from people like, have you tried onion juice? Have you tried rice water? Have you tried this? Have you tried that different type of supplement? And so I just wanted to address some of these because it's not something I ever really talk about. Uh, and so here we go. Probably the one I get most commonly asked about is rice water, whether I use it. Uh, I don't, I haven't yet. I'm not opposed necessarily to the idea, but for me, just Rogaine is working really well. The things I am doing are working really well for me, so I just don't see any reason to switch it up and go all natural. I'm not saying I never will, but yeah, onion juice is another one that comes up. This is another natural treatment to help with women's hair loss. I have not tried onion juice probably for the reasons you're thinking of. Um, if you're hesitant to try it, I just really don't think I want to use onion juice on my head, especially because I'm getting a pretty good result as it is with the Rogaine. A lot of people don't believe in putting chemicals on their hair, and I say chemicals because chemicals are in nearly everything. Um, sometimes people throw around the word chemical without really understanding what chemical means, but that's a whole other <laughs> story. You know, I'm not completely though, I wanna say an alternative medicine skeptic, I am not. I've done acupuncture and I felt that, that it was a great complement to some of the other treatments that I have done. And I just feel generally that for me, the place for alternative medicine in my life, this reflects my views, is that it can be a complement to sort of traditional medicine. So I am not saying I don't believe in it. I just like to go the sort of scientifically proven route. And sometimes as if I feel it might a supplement of some sort might benefit me, I will definitely do that. I'm not saying it's without merit. I'm just saying it's not all of it is for me. I will tell you guys why. Follow me, this is a bit of a story time. When my son was small, he's 11 now, but when he was a baby, I kept having these patches on my arms. I'd have these really itchy, oozing patches on both arms. And you know, it was eczema, or eczema is another way that people like to pronounce it. And uh, it just would not go away. I tried all the sort of um, non-medicine, the non-cortisone treatments for it. You know, I can't remember exactly what I was put, calendula, you know, just the gentle sort of plant-derived stuff. And man, if I didn't have those for literally four months, it would heal up, it would start oozing again. It would heal up, it would just start oozing again. And I was, you know, I was, I had a small baby at home. I didn't necessarily want to have chemicals on my arms at the time. Um, so, but it got so bad at one point, it was just, I was just like, I'm going to go to the doctor because this is crazy. It keeps sort of semi-healing and then just opening up again and just being so itchy and oozing and just gross and painful. It was very, very painful. I went to the doctor, you know, just a GP, and he's like, yeah, you have eczema or eczema on your elbows. Here's a cream for it. So he wrote me a prescription cortisone cream. I filled it, I put it on. The next day, my arms felt like 50% better. Two days later, it was completely healed. And so that, um, long story short, is one of the main reasons that I don't tend to go with some of these treatments, like your onion juices and stuff like that. I'm not saying they don't work. I'm just saying, listen, I don't have six months to wait for them to work necessarily. That's just me. And so, um, and I'm not saying that Rogaine and other treatments like that are necessarily an overnight thing, but you know, I did try it, it did work for me. You can go your own route, but I'm just saying for the people that have asked me if I've tried it or not, for most of those, no, but I do have some that I have sort of liked. They're not exactly like the onion juices and the rice waters of the world, but I'm gonna talk about those. Um, biotin and vitamin D. I have had success, I believe, with biotin. I just take some gummies, you know, just like a Costco brand. I buy it in bulk, because biotin, 
can be kind of expensive on its own. Uh, you can look at Dr. Dre's YouTube channel. She talks a bit about what biotin is. It's a B vitamin and she talks a little bit about the studies. She's an actual dermatologist, which obviously I am not. I am not any kind of medical professional as you guys probably know. Um, so yeah, that's my take on biotin. I do feel like it made my hair a little better and my nails also a little better. I'm not saying it's gonna be, I'm not, it wasn't like the night and day difference, but um, I do feel like just generally speaking, they just felt generally healthier, thicker, better, less frail, less brittle, de definitely for my nails. My hair, it was, it was a little harder to tell with the hair on my head, but uh, for me, I do like biotin and I do take it. The other thing is vitamin D. You know, I have a video talking a bit about the role of vitamin D, they think possibly in fall hair loss. So they think that sort of the change in the amount of vitamin D you get might affect your hair in the fall and cause some of it to start to fall out in September. So I will go ahead and link that up and have a look at that. Uh, but I do take vitamin D, I'm just generally recommended to take it anyway. I live in a climate, I mean not right now, I'm in Miami right now and it is like I'm in my summer clothes. It is February as I'm taping this. Uh, so I don't live in a place that has a lot of vitamin D in the winter. I live in Canada, it is cold, it is dark, completely covered up all through the winter months. You're not getting any vitamin D from outdoors. So I definitely take supplements throughout the winter months. That seems to help. Uh, and so uh, another thing I get asked about and I do see sometimes is homeopathic drops. I don't believe in homeopathy, I don't take them. Uh, do with that what you will. Uh, one thing though I do get asked about is massage. I do think massage can help. Have it, has it helped me? No, because I'm too lazy to regularly massage my hair, but it feels great. I don't think it can definitely do any harm. And it kind of makes sense if you think about maybe some of the mechanisms, like a lot of women swear by massaging their head, they swear by massaging their face to look younger as well. And if you think about it, kind of makes some sense if you think about blood circulation and stuff like that. So I am totally pro massage if you're into that. I'm not saying it worked for me because I'm too lazy to do it, but I think it could work. And again, I'm not slamming any of the alternative medicines out there. I mean, you do you. If you want to try onion juice before you try Rogaine, go ahead. I'm just letting you know that it is not something that I've tried. I'm not against the idea. Same with rice water. I haven't tried it. Maybe it works. If it does, definitely drop me a note below. We love to hear all kinds of different stories and stuff like that. Let us know the story about how you started using it and whether it's working for you or not. And yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there because I am on vacations. I'm gonna get back to the beach, back to enjoying myself, but I just thought I would drop it and make a quick one for you guys. All right, bye, thanks so much, and remember to like and subscribe.